Anne is Artastic, and welcome to this episode, part of Artastic August, where I am celebrating the launch of my website, my membership called Artastic Kids, which is my online streaming art lesson platform where you get to make art at home, anytime, anywhere, or if you're a teacher, you can stream it directly into your classroom. It's kind of like a Netflix or a Disney Plus where you click a video and just watch. You can stream through different categories, same idea, but with art lessons. And I want to provide you, as soon as you join, you're going to have a huge art resource library already loaded with art videos to choose from, and then you get to enjoy five new art lessons added to that every single month. It is insane. It uses easy to find, easy to grab, and stress-free, mess-free art making mediums. So, and I will show you how to use the art making mediums in so many different ways, and you can find out all about that at artastickids.com. Or at the end of this art lesson video, you can check the link below in the description of the video. And my friend, I'm so excited to see you there. I know you want to check it out, so make sure you check it out so that way you can learn some amazing new art making skills and spend some quality time at home together making some art. All right, so in this art lesson, we're going to be creating this lovely paintbrush, so cute. I've used just um, some watercolor paints and felt markers for this one, but you can use whatever choice paint you want in the background, but I do suggest like a, uh, a temper paint cake or a watercolor paint, but the paintbrush could be any choice art making medium that you want to use. And we're going to be exploring this to make some really cool, fabulous paintbrush funky paintbrush artworks. So grab some art making mediums and join me in making this art lesson and don't forget to check out Artastic Kids, my online streaming art lesson platform at the end of this video. Make sure you join the club because my friend, you're gonna learn so many different art lessons and they're gonna be on a range of different topics from underwater to things that go to fantasy to insects and animals, reptiles, plants and landscapes, and, and so much more at Artastic Kids. So check it out, my online streaming platform. This is the grand opening of it, and my friend, I'm so excited. So grab some art making mediums and join me as we make this lovely paintbrush artwork. Let's make some art. So we're going to begin our artwork first by creating our background for our lovely wacky paintbrush. And then we're going to create the rest of it. So we're going to create our paintbrush separately. So, and again, it could be choice art making mediums. We're going to begin by just grabbing some watercolor paints. So I have my paintbrush. I got my lovely palette of watercolor paint and I'm just gonna dip my brush in my water and I'm gonna pick my first color and I'm gonna swirl three times in that color and then I'm just going to create some blobs and swatches here and there. I wanna be very loose, just like that. Okay, next color I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna rinse my brush in the water Swirl three times in my next paint color, and then I'm gonna paint a few different swatches on my choice color background. We're not painting on white, we're painting on a color, so the colors are not gonna appear to be a little bit different. So my purple's appearing a little bit different than you normally would see it. All right, I'm gonna swirl three times on some blue, and I'm gonna add that here and there in some swatches for this wacky artwork, and maybe I'll get some, ooh, I forgot to rinse my brush. Get some yellow, rinse that. Move that around, let it blend with your other colors. Oh yeah, whatever colors you want, you use your favorite colors. And we're just gonna add some swatches here and there. Just like that. Make a fabulous background. Now, if you have some white, we can go ahead and get some white and we're gonna add some drips. So this is what I love to do with white paint is I just like to get load my brush with white by swirling three times on the white and then we're gonna go tap, tap, tap. We're just gonna add some taps around our background paper here. Now, if you don't have white, feel free to try a different color. You don't have to use white. You can try, you can try black, you can try blue, purple, whatever you want, you use you. You use what you got. Here's some black if you want to see what that looks like. What I'm saying is experiment and add your own artist flavor to your artwork, my lovely friend. Okay, so once that is done, 
got your background all already up. You're just gonna slide it to the side nice and carefully. Keep it flat, keep it flat. We don't want it to drip anywhere. And you're gonna grab your second piece of paper that you're gonna use for your paintbrush. And we're gonna go over to the sink with our hand below the bristles. And we're gonna walk to the sink, we're gonna rinse, 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 and I'm gonna pull that paintbrush nice and dry once it's clean, and then have it drying with the bristles to the sky or flat on the surface. And then you're ready to grab your choice of art making medium for your wacky paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to grab my felt markers. That's what I'm gonna be drawing with today, or coloring with, anyway. Both, I guess. And I'm gonna draw, grab something to draw with. So I'm gonna be using my black marker so you can see it nice and clearly on the video. And here we go. So we're gonna start off with a curving line for the top of the paintbrush. And then we're gonna put one dot at the bottom for where the bottom of the paintbrush will be. And we're also gonna put one dot at the top for where the top of the bristles will be. All right, we are going to draw two lines down and then connect with another curving line just like that. And that's gonna make the metal part that holds the bristles to the rest of the paintbrush. Okay, we're gonna draw the paintbrush body down. So one line down to that bottom dot and a second as well, curving it ever so slightly at the very bottom. Next, we're gonna add some hatching lines down one side just to add a little bit of shading. Perfect. And of course, we're gonna add some paintbrush bristles. So we're gonna draw some curving lines up and zigzag them to that point and then back down to connect to make a very wacky paintbrush. And of course, there is paint on our paintbrush, so we're gonna add some wavy lines here for where the paint is at the top. And then we're gonna fill in that extra space there with some lines for some bristle or hair texture on our paintbrush. All right, on the paintbrush handle, we're gonna add a face. So we're gonna draw one line across the middle, leaving some space on either side for some eyes. Connect that line with the letter U. Then from one corner down to the bottom, add a curving line and color in the dark of the mouth, leaving that tongue nice and white for now anyway. On either side, we're gonna draw a circle. And then we're gonna color in the eyes, leaving just a little dot of white to make a cute little wacky paintbrush face. Lovely. All right, we are ready to color it in so you can grab your choice, choice of art making colors and color in your wacky paintbrush however you want. I'm not really sure what color I want to use. Maybe I'll do a purple paintbrush. Oh yeah, but it could be lots of colors. You could do a rainbow paintbrush. You can make it as wacky as you want and add your own artist flavor however you want. I love this purple. Nice and bright.
once you're done, you can go ahead and cut out your paintbrush. Now I'm going to leave a nice little white border around mine and that's just gonna add some contrast to help my wacky paintbrush stand out on my background. But if you don't like the look of that, feel free to cut off all the white. It's really up to you. But if you are leaving it, make sure you do a nice neat white border. We want it to look professional. So we're on nice straight lines, just like that. And then if you have nice big extra pieces like this, you can go ahead and put that in an envelope or a Ziploc bag and put it somewhere where you can use it for a future artwork. And then while our background finishes drying, we're gonna tidy up our art space, put all our art making mediums away nice and neatly so they're ready to use for the next time that we use them, nice and organized, just like that. And we'll go grab our background once it's done drying. And once you're done, having, or once you're done letting your background paper dry, you can go ahead and glue the back of your paintbrush. So border first, then the inside, just like that. Add a bit of glue, we're gonna grab it by the edges. And then you can go ahead and place your paintbrush onto your background however you want. It's up to you. It is your design and you are the artist of your artwork after all. Okay, once you have a spot that you like, two flat hands to press and hold. We're gonna give the glue some time to adhere to both the back of the paintbrush and your background paper. And once you lift, your lovely paintbrush artwork is done. Well, my friend, I hope you enjoyed making this art lesson with me. Remember, the Artastic Kids membership is open. It's grand opening has happened, so make sure you check it out. Again, it's my online streaming art lesson platform where I'm going to provide you with a huge art resource library of art lessons to choose from with five new art lessons being added every single month so that way you can expand your creative thinking. You can expand your critical thinking skills. You can develop new art making techniques and skills and then become a, a growing artist at home, okay? So you can stream art lessons anytime, anywhere, from the comfort of your home. You can do it with your family to spend more quality time with them. Or if you want, if you're a teacher, you can stream art lessons directly in your classroom with Artastic Kids. It is um, an online streaming service. Again, you can click a video, hit play, and you can stream art lessons. Again, new five new art lessons are added every single month to the platform. Uh, so it's an ever-growing art resource lesson library, um, fully loaded with a ton of art lessons and five new ones are added every single month. And for more information, make sure you check out the link below the video right now, Artastic Kids. Now let's check out more information on Artastic Kids. Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic and I have an online streaming platform called Artastic Kids, where kids get to create some fabulous art projects all from the comfort of their home or any place at any time using just a few common art making mediums. So my platform is easy to use. You simply log on, grab an art project, click it, and boom, I'm gonna walk you through the entire thing in a fun, engaging way. So. Let's check out some of the art projects that we're going to do on Artastic Kids. Mm -hmm. 